today I'm going to make a diagram of human eye and this diagram is necessary for both the part physics and biology and let's start with this this is eyeball I mean to say our eye is ball like and this is eyeball Eyeball is a little bulged in the front side of our eye and it is made up of three layers. That's why I'm making three layers. This is outermost layer. Okay, this is outermost layer of our eye. Now, let's talk about the second layer. I'm going to make second layer. Look at this. Before the second layer, better to have this lens. Our eye consists of a convex lens. I'm going to make this convex lens here. And this convex lens is in the in in the front side and here we have another structure This is second layer. Second layer of our eyeball is choroid. I'm going to label later. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to make third layer of our eyeball, the innermost layer. And just behind the lens, I'm making a constriction here. This is, this one is third layer. Okay, let's complete this. Now I want to make one another part just in the front side of the eyeball.
this is a very thin membrane called conjunctiva okay this is the representation of i okay now i want to label it now outermost layer of our eyeball is called sclera now middle layer this is choroid and the innermost layer retina and this part this part is filled with vitreous humor now this constriction a little constriction or like structure is called yellow spot and this part is called blind spot and this part is called optic nerve now look at this is conjunctiva and this part this layer which is shown with red color is cornea and the behind the cornea there there is a little gap which is filled with a watery liquid aqueous humor and this is iris and this part is pupil and this is convex lens of eye and this is ciliary muscle and this is suspensory ligaments okay this is the complete labeling this much is i think enough now let's talk about each of the part of the eye uh, a little shortly briefly sclera the outermost layer of her eyeball is called sclera it protects our eye it protects our eye and it is a little elastic less elastic than other choroid coat choroid coat the middle layer of her eyeball is called choroid coat or choroid it is richly supplied with blood vessels which supplies oxygen and food substance to the eye cells retina the innermost layer of her eyeball is called retina and it is responsible for the formation of image eye forms image on the retina and that can be seen uh, otherwise if image doesn't fall on the retina if it falls behind the retina in front of the retina we will not be able to see the object now just behind the lens convex lens on the retina there is a constriction and this constriction is called yellow spot and yellow spot this region is richly supplied with sensory cells the sensory cells are called rod cells and cone cells and image falls on this region then the and the image will be uh, will be able to see that object clearly there is another point also blind spot this blind spot is uh, the region in which there is no any sensory cells and that's why if image falls on the blind spot we will not be able to see that object clearly okay optic nerve this nerve arises from the retina and the bundle uh, the uh, they makes a bundle and this bundle goes up to the 
up to the brain and it carries the information of the image which fall forms on the retina to the brain then we'll be able to see that object conjunctiva is a thin membrane transparent membrane which covers the uh, transparent cornea cornea the bulged part of the front side of our eye that uh, that is formed by the sclera is called cornea and light is start to converse from cornea or it may start to bend from cornea now aqueous humor the aqueous humor is a watery liquid and uh, it is filled between the lens and this uh, uh, and this cornea this vitreous humor and aqueous humor vitreous humor is jelly like aqueous humor is watery liquid okay iris iris the middle layer of our eyeball which is choroid coat it uh, forms an annular structure in the front side of our eye it is colorful annular uh, uh, annular colorful structure and uh, it is uh, opaque also if light falls on the iris it uh, cannot enter into the eye if light doesn't fall on the iris uh, but it falls in the middle part of the iris that uh, which is pro pupil that can enter into the eye and that's why uh, this pupil is the entrance for light and convex lens of eye is made up of living cells and uh, it is made up of actually uh, uh, elastic living cells which are packed in a uh, an elastic capsule so uh, this suspensory ligaments for ciliary muscle the muscle which surrounds the convex lens of eye is called ciliary muscle and the uh, ligaments are thread like structure or fiber like structure which arises from the ciliary muscle supports the lens in the position and this is called suspensory ligaments these are different parts of eye but uh, some of the parts are only related to physics and all the parts are related to biology in next class we'll continue with the defect of human eye